Greg Bruns with another quick tip for you. What I want to talk about today is ohm and out compressors. When you're ohm and out a permanent split capacitor motor compressor, what I've always done and it makes it easy is draw the terminals out on a sheet of paper. And as you can see here, I've got a drawing of, of the windings of a compressor. So keep in mind here, these terminals that are marked run, start, and common are just an exact replica of what you see on the compressor itself at the three terminals here. These are the actual ohm values of this compressor. This compressor is um, the ohm values are fine and the compressor is good. But I want to talk about ohm and out of compressor when you have a short or a ground and how the reading should play out. And as you can see here, from common to run, I got 1.2 ohms. Between common and start, I got 1.6 ohms. And then if I measure from start to run with my meter leads, you can see I got an electrical path all the way through, and that's why you come up with 2.8 ohms, which is, the, is these two numbers added together. So now if this compressor had an open winding, let's say it had an open run winding, then what would happen there is you would no longer get a reading between run and common because this winding here would be broke. And then you would no longer get a reading between run and start again because this winding would be broke. If I had an open start winding, you'd have a winding break in the middle of the winding, so you'd no longer get a reading from start to common, and you'd no longer get a reading from run to start. So then the other one is open overload. If I have an open overload, and that's what I got drawn in the picture here, if that overload is open, you will get a reading between run and start because you've got an electrical path through the windings from run to start. If the overload is open, you won't get a reading from run to common or start to common. Hope you found this tech tip useful. Please keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.